Death Row started to announce that they were going to put out a Jennifer Lopez uh, adult tape. Can you tell me about how you guys obtained it, what it was, and why it uh, never came out? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's, a, that's a story. So, there's definitely a tape out there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Maybe this is part of the issue with J-Lo and Diddy as information is coming about them. Now, there are articles out there that support that Suge Knight had targeted J-Lo at some point. Now, Suge Knight was actually targeting Diddy, but but he was going about it through J-Lo, alleging that he had some sex tape out there and that he was going to release it. I got a positive attitude. I like J-Lo. Have you dated famous women? I've seen the, I seen the J-Lo sex tape. You have? Yeah. Is you it seen, for real? Wait a second. You've seen the J-Lo sex tape? Really? Who's on it with her? Who's having sex with her? P. Diddy? Uh, no, she got uh, you know, some women, some guys, you know. Really? And that's for real. Is, uh, you know, put it to you like this. Pamela Lee is PG. Really? J-Lo. <laughs> Are you in this video? Did you star in this video? No, I was at a penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> but how did you get it? Well, you know, certain things you just don't talk about. But I said, <laughs> really? But out of respect to J-Lo, J-Lo, if you listen, I'm the one who didn't turn you over. Well, that's a very honorable. Be out. How can I get it? Yes, Dave. I'd like to ask Mr. Knight a question. This has been kind of an ongoing rumor. And so why it's coming about now is because people are saying that this is why J-Lo's not speaking out against Diddy, is that he has some alleged sex tape on her and that he's had this sex tape on her for so many years. So let's go through some of this and kind of maybe talk a little bit about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It's been known that J-Lo and Ohani Noah had somewhat of a sex tape. Uh, it said that it's like a honeymoon tape and she is nude. Ohani Noah, her ex-husband, has been wanting to release it because, you know, it was a way in which he planned to tell his story about their marriage. That was his thought. Okay. Um, what evidence could this really, why does this need to be put out there in a courtroom? That they were in fact married? That they in fact consummated their marriage? Really? Why does this evidence need to be there when there was a marriage certificate? So that's the first thing. The second thing is, you know, in our culture, the more beautiful a woman is and the more powerful she is and the brighter her star, the more someone is going to try to bring them down, especially when they want to get money out of them. So, I so for those that don't know Ohani Noah, uh, Ohani Noah was a waiter at the Cuban restaurant in Miami Beach when Lopez J-Lo first met him. But he had aspirations to be like the next Ricky Martin. He says, I wanted to be famous and respected for what I do, just like Jen. However, Ohani Noah didn't just want to release a single. He wanted to release a revealing video that he had of J-Lo. He says, there is this revealing video of J-Lo with lack of clothing and in sexual situations, especially especially in the hotel footage from the honeymoon. Ohani's business manager at the time, Ed Meyer, they were trying to shop this tape around. They kept saying, both, both Ohani and the business partner, Ed Meyer said that the video contained salacious material and they were going to sh shock the fans. So after J-Lo breaks up with Ohani Noah and basically ends that situation, J-Lo then marries her dancer Chris Judd in 2001. Now around the time, there was also the Diddy situation, so keep that in mind. She opened up a Cuban restaurant in L.A. called Madre in April 2002. It's a family restaurant with, little, with a little bit of sexiness. She had explained this, which I believe that restaurant is no longer available. I think it's like either it's out of business or she closed it down, one of the two. So during that time, against J-Lo's better judgment, she hires Ohani Noah to manage the place for about a thousand a week. After that, J-Lo decides to fire him after only six months. Ohani was furious and sued for breach of contract, citing that he was let go without good cause or reason. So after that, it was said that Ohani Noah went on like this revenge crusade the, he couldn't keep his mouth shut about how they were married for 11 months telling anyone who would listen we did as much as humans can possibly do and that's a lot this is what he would say and that's what he revealed to tabloids he told people that jayla was obsessive about having sex in different unusual places so this specific tape that ohani had there wasn't any actual sex acts of any kind i mean there was some nudity some touching that's the kind of stuff that was in this tape now that is the tape that i've known of but i have heard through the grapevine that there was another tape that 
Suge Knight was promoting. And he promoted it on the Howard Stern show. And this tape was of J-Lo and Diddy. So that's where the urban legend to me starts. We really don't know a whole lot. I mean, it's been said that it's, uh, it's somebody has it. There's Irv Gotti. You hear him say that he told um, Suge Knight to destroy it. Easy. Hold on. Remember when Suge was saying that you he had a, a, a sex tape with her? Right. What? You had a sex tape? No, no. He said Suge Remember when Suge J -Lo. was saying he had a sex tape on J-Lo? I mean, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure do this nigga. You can't do that. He's like, God, is she with you? I said, she's the best motherfucker in the world. You can't do that. Destroy that shit if you got it. He said, yo, Gotti, for you, tell her no one will ever see that shit. Has anyone ever seen that shit? No. And then there was this meeting with attorneys, and apparently the attorneys were informed that they dropped any kind of lawsuit against Suge because the tape doesn't actually exist. And that you had a J-Lo sex tape <laughs> that you were holding out on me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And you didn't really yeah. tell me about that you yeah. had this thing, man. Oh, man. <laughs> they had us shook after that meeting I had with the attorneys and J-Lo uh, team. Oh, so they actually brought you in and had a meeting oh, with yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Me, David Kenner, went down there and met with their staff and their team, man. Uh, they threatened to take everything that any of us owned and suing us and having us in court and all that. You know, it was funny to be a shook, to be honest, because we didn't care back then. But what I took from it was it was a tape. But mm. what they thought we had, we didn't have. <laughs> but it's a tape out there. Because mm. she had a, she spent some money on putting that team together and, and was trying to save her image. There was a lot that was said out there. However, it's like the urban legend, the urban legend of this sex tape. And folks had emailed me and said, Rabbit, is it possible that this is why J-Lo isn't speaking out? Because there is this alleged sex tape out there of Diddy with her. And although I can understand where some of the people have like some thoughts of like where does a sex tape exist or not? Is this part of like what if it's part of the Diddy raids? I don't know about that. Um, Twitter has been very vocal about it. There have been some tweets that I want to read about this sex tape, okay? People believe, especially in 2017, 2019, 2015, I mean, somebody says in here, I mean, sometimes you not only want to sue, you want to unleash your lawyers like J-Lo did versus Suge Knight when he said he owned her sex tape because he did promote that on the Howard Stern show and actually E Weekly Entertainment Weekly wrote an article about it and they showed the front of that tape you guys could see it here right now people have said listen Suge Knight allegedly having possession of JLo's sex tape I think it's cap cuz ain't no way ain't no fucking way LMAO. Now, whether people believe that this sex tape is real and urban legend, I was able to find one article from 2002, which is very interesting. And it reads, J-Lo settles sex tape lawsuit. Los Angeles sexy singer-actress Jennifer Lopez has settled a lawsuit she filed over an alleged invasion of privacy involving the distribution of a video supposedly showing her having sex, lawyers said on Tuesday. The agreement came after the case against high-profile defendant Death Row Records and company head Marion Suge Knight had been dismissed in the middle of last year, leaving only a case against unnamed Doe defendants. Now, why would they have Doe defendants at that time? Just in case somebody else had a copy of it or Suge might have given it to somebody or somebody else had it in their possession. That's why they would leave this as Doe defendants. So they can go after someone else should it be late. Lopez attorney, Satin Larry Stein, said at a settlement hearing in Los Angeles on Tuesday that the sultry singer had dropped the suit against the Doe, the Doe defendants in January. Lopez so was the lawsuit on the Doe dropped because Irv Gotti insisted that they burn this tape, that should burn this tape? Did Irv actually help in this situation? January. Lopez sued Knight and his rap label last May following an online tabloid article that alleged Knight had a videotape of Jennifer Lopez making love to a long time ago boyfriend and was planning to market it on the internet. The singer and actress 
who once dated controversial rapper Sean P. Diddy Combs, had wanted to prevent Death Row executive Knight from releasing the alleged sex movie. But Stein said on Tuesday that Knight and his company quickly acknowledged that there was no tape and they didn't have any tape with Jennifer involving any nudity. So they denied having a tape of J-Lo involving any nudity. But yet there was promotion for this tape. The case against the Doe defendants had been left pending until January because, and I quote, we didn't know whether somebody else who was in some way affiliated with them would claim some kind of a tape or ownership, Stein said. We wanted to make sure we had a lawsuit on file so we could take immediate action, he added. Knight's lawyer, Michael, confirmed that the case had been settled, but said the details were confidential. So what does that article read to you guys? Do you guys think that this sex tape existed, was ever around? I mean, what do you guys think about that? Now, this is an interesting part of this interview with Reggie, because Reggie says, and I quote, what they thought we had, we didn't have. But what they thought we had, we didn't have. And in the 2002 article, it says that the attorneys and Suge Knight came to an agreement quickly because they acknowledged there was no tape and they didn't have any tape with Jennifer involving nudity. So yet they still put out the, the, the does out there just in case um, things were leaked. What there's so much confusion here with what Reggie says and with what this article says, or maybe it was what Reggie said. Maybe they didn't have what they thought that they had, right? Maybe it wasn't a that kind of a tape, but till this day it's being described as a sex tape. Reggie says it, and if you go back to the Howard Stern interview, listen to how Suge Knight describes it. Pamela Lee is PG. Really? J Lo. <laughs> Are you in this video? Did you star in this video? No, I was in a penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> but how did you get it? Well, you know, certain things you just don't talk about. But I said, <laughs> really? But out of respect to J Lo, J Lo, if you're listening, I'm the one who didn't turn you over. Well, that's the very honorable. Do you guys think that there is a tape out there that nobody has seen that has not been leaked? This is what is keeping J Lo from speaking? Do you guys think that maybe this is why J Lo is quiet about Diddy or? For that matter, she's quiet about a lot of her relationships. She doesn't really publicly talk. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you guys think about this? I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out. Bye, guys.